And as those comments from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell dampened expectations, the central bank could move later this year or really anytime soon to cut those rates. U.S. stocks ended lower Wednesday, and the S&P 500 snapped a three-day streak of record-high closes. The Dow dropped more than 160 points after Powell dashed rate cut hopes, while the S&P 500 pulled back a tenth of a percent. Now, for the S&P 500, it was its worst day posting since March 22nd. The Nasdaq declined to six tenths of a percent to close trading at a little over 8,049. The Korean market and some European markets were closed for the Labor Day holiday. Meanwhile, it was a monumental day for Microsoft while its rivals showed disappointing revenues. Microsoft has been firing on all cylinders and at the closing bell today, it was rewarded for the first time with a trillion dollar valuation. MS is now only the third ever publicly traded U.S. company after Amazon and Google to achieve a market valuation of one trillion dollars. As for oil prices, it fell on Wednesday after U.S. crude inventories in the U.S. soared more than expected to their highest since September 2017 as production hit a record high. The declines were somewhat tempered by the intensifying crisis, of course, in Venezuela and Washington's cessation of Iranian oil sanction waivers as of May 1st, with the fall in global Brent benchmark more muted. Crude futures bounced slightly along with the stock market after the Fed held its interest rates, however. So the Brent crude was up a tenth of a percent at $72.14 a barrel. And the lighter West Texas Intermediate is trading down one half a percent at 63.61.